Welcome to another ASMR coding video and I promise we will be coding in a very little bit but first I wanted to make the introductions um, of my new keyboard to you all if you've seen my last puzzle and ramble video you might already know about this but I got a new keyboard um, as a joint birthday and Christmas present my birthday is very close to Christmas from my boyfriend and yeah, this is it and one of the main criteria was that it sounds good because my razor was way too loud for whispering or very soft speaking and the Bluetooth slim keyboard just barely made any sounds and it wasn't like satisfying to type on so we're back to mechanical keyboards so just as a quick introduction this here is the Keychron K8 Pro and it has um, black switches underneath here and then this is just a uh, I think they're called honey and milk keycap set. I just got this from Amazon. Now um, it does come with backlighting and it comes with uh, customizable backlighting. You can do lots of things with it. I don't remember the shortcuts right now because honestly most of the time I have the backlight off because it takes a lot of battery and this is actually wireless. However, you can plug it in with a wire, um, which is recommended if you want to run the backlights. So most of the time, backlight is off for me because I want to use it wirelessly with my work laptop, my personal laptop, etc. In the future, I'll make more of a typing test video on this. We might try some different switches in the future, but for now, like I said, black Gatorons, I think. Um, so yeah, let's get into the coding. Okay, enough about keyboards. Um, we're here in Visual Studio Code, um, which is my preferred IDE for most coding work. And I already created a virtual environment um, event up here and a notebook with a Python kernel. We're using Python 3.10.2 and yeah, we are using a Jupyter notebook. And to figure out what we are going to do, um, we're going to be doing a Python kata. And the kata is just uh, a small coding challenge. And I'm using codewars.com as you can see up here. And this is totally free. There might be some uh, premium features, but I've only ever used the free version. And you can select your preferred programming language. For today, we're using Python. And then you can choose if you want to train fundamentals again. Um, train you on your fundamental knowledge of the language. This is a great place to hone your skills. Uh, for more advanced developers, uh, practicing your fundamentals is a great way to warm up in the morning or when learning a new language. And ranked up is based off of your proven skill level. Kata will be suggested that will challenge your mind and help you rank up. So this is what I've selected here and um, this is the difficulty, 5Q, I have no idea how to pronounce it, but it starts at 8, which is the easiest, and it goes up to 1, I think, which is the hardest, and you can see my rank up here, it's 5, and um, now we can choose a kata, for example, this one is 4, so it's a bit harder than my current level, and it's uh, 
pseudopo solution validator and I would be tempted to do this if I hadn't already done a Sudoku video on this channel um, I'll link it down below <laughs> Alright, let's try this one without Pete the Baker um, We'll just click Train and then we get the instructions in here and you can code right in here but I like to use Visual Studio to try things out Alright, so Pete likes to bake some cakes he has some recipes and ingredients. Unfortunately, he is not good at math. Can you help him to find out how many cakes he could bake considering his recipes? Write a function cakes, which we get up here, which takes the recipe, an object, and the available ingredients, also an object, and returns the maximum number of cakes Pete can bake. For simplicity, there are no units for the amounts. Ingredients that are not present in the object can be considered as zero. Okay, this seems to be written for JavaScript because the inputs seem to be dictionaries, not objects, but they're like objects in JavaScript. I think I got it. Okay, let's copy paste our description. So Pete the Baker. Okay. Let's also get the examples. which is a dictionary, okay so... wait oh yeah, here are the other test examples two three, yeah, we need to have them as strings this so let's put recipe one copy this up here um, available ingredients one will be this We check each ingredient.
Iteration and will give us a pair of a key of the um, dictionary and a value. Oops. So now we can do. Let me think. Now we check. Can we filter a dictionary? Okay, so if. ingredient how much would be possible let's say for the flour in here we got a target of 500 and we have in available we have 1200 so just based on the flour we could make two cakes um, that is what I will save in this array up there this will be an integer division and we do the available of the ingredient we check that this is a key um, integer division by the target amount and this will be this then all the ingredients were available and now we just return the minimum of the possible cakes because if we don't have enough uh, let's say sugar for seven cakes then it doesn't matter that we have enough I don't know eggs for seven cakes right the minimum is um, the deciding factor here. Okay, let's run this. And now let's should return to and should return zero. And let's run these tests. They match. So now we can take our code and submit it. Well, test it to be fair. Put this here. Test. Passed all of the tests. So now we can attempt the final test. You can see it tests uh, 56 different. Uh, cases here with like no ingredients available, not enough ingredients, missing ingredients, and so on. So these all worked, and uh, we can submit. All right. So originally this video was going to have two cutters, and I did indeed film the second one. However, it took me 50 minutes. So it will not be part of this video, but instead you can look forward to another coding video in the near future. Um, this one will end on the success story of the first cutter. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the new keyboard. Let me know what you think. See you in the next one. Bye!